Hey guys, this is Henry from Albedi again. Today we're going to be demonstrating the different options and functions that are included on the timeline area of the project page in Studio One. So we've explained in the past how to create um, a new project, how to import files, saving. Uh, we've talked about the metering options, and now let's talk about the timeline. Okay, so pretty much half of the project window. Uh, the bottom part of the screen is the timeline. Uh, right now we have two tracks that we've added, track one and track two. Um, we can see on the timeline uh, the length in time. Um, we can see where the first track starts, where it ends, and then where the second st track starts and where it ends. Okay. Now, there are some things we can do here on the timeline that are very useful. Uh, one of those is the gain of the individual tracks, okay? If you're in track one, let's say like this one, I am on this track, I've clicked on it to select it. <clears throat> if I wanna go to track two, I can just click on that one and now that's highlighted because um, I clicked on it. So you can go back and forth between those two. Now, let's say that uh, track one is too loud. Well, you could, if you see the track, the top of the track, there's this little square. You can see that little hand that that um that that little hand from my mouse right um that means that you can click there and then you can drag down right to pull the gain down of the track you could also pull up okay you could push it up to uh, gain it up right in case it's too soft well let's say it's too loud okay we can click and then pull it down let's pull it down minus mm, there Minus 3.7 dBs. Okay. You can see the waveform got smaller. So now the track is softer. Now this gain that you apply, let's go ahead and also apply to this one. That gain that we're applying, that happens before any of the processing, any of the inserts, any plugins. This is literally like if you were pulling down the gain of the audio file. Okay, so that's one thing you can do. Let's go ahead and press play to listen to different... Okay, that's pretty obvious. So, um, that's regarding the gain of each um, audio event, okay? There's other things that you can do here, like fade, okay? You can do a fade out or fade in. Let's say you want to do a fade in. Well, uh, and I'm going to go ahead and zoom in a little bit. You can zoom in down here, bottom right corner. I'm going to zoom in. So we can see, we can focus on the first track, okay? There it is. Okay, so if you want to zoom, um, fade in, um, there is a little, you can see this little triangle on the top left of the audio event. That's a fade in, okay? If you click on it and drag to the right, you can create a fade in. You can see how the waveform is being modified, right? So you can create a fade in and a fade out at the end, okay, fade out, you click on it and then drag to the left and you create the fade out. Um, you can also, when you create the fade in, there's this little square in the middle of the fade that you can click to create a an exponential fade in or a logarithmic fade in or just leave it linear. Same thing happens with the fade out, either exponential or you can click and uh, pull it up to create a logarithmic um, or leave it linear. Now, um, once again, this happens uh, on the actual audio event. So, this fade ins and outs happen before the signal hits any of the inserts that you could potentially add. Okay, let's go ahead and press play on that fade in so we can listen to the way it works. So, yeah, it's gradually uh, increasing its level, right? Same thing at the output. Uh, sorry, at the end of the at the end of the um, file, uh, it'll gradually fade out. So yeah, you have the idea, right? Um, what else you can do here? Well, that's fade ins and fade outs. 
Let's go ahead and do the same thing for the other track. Okay, so the other thing you can do, you could drag the tracks, and this is very important. Why? On your timeline, you are setting up your tracks, right? This is going to be the order, technically, the order of the album, right? The, the order they're going to be played back. And when you set the tracks, okay, when you add the tracks or the files uh, into the project window uh, or the project page, Studio One will set them and Studio One will um, decide the spacing in between the two tracks by default. Now, this you could change, okay? You could click on the track, let's say on the second track, and then drag it to the right, and then there's more spacing between those two. Conversely, you could click and then drag to the left, and they would be overimposed, one on top of each other. Now, they'll be overlapping, right? Um, so that's up to you, depending on how you're going to make it. Um, you know, some people like to make them uh, overlapped. So basically, one song uh, turns into the other song, um, quote unquote, magically, if you could say that way, right? Or you could just let the first song end, then leave some, you know, leave a, a a gap of time with no sound, no nothing, and then the other song starts. It's up to you, um, and this is something you might want to talk to with your artist or whoever's producing this, right? So that's the timeline of your project page in Studio One. If you have any other questions, please call us from Obedia at 615-933-6775. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Today's Pro Audio hardware and software can give you excellent results if you know how to use it properly. Obedia can help you to get the most out of your Pro Audio hardware and software. Why spend your time scouring the internet for answers or digging through manuals? With one quick call to an Obedia technician, you'll be connected with someone who can give you the answers that you need in real time via phone and remote desktop. Obedia technicians are trained in all major digital audio applications on Mac, PC, iOS, and Android devices. Obedia member subscriptions are cost effective, give you great member benefits, and Obedia is here seven days a week to help you get the most out of your digital audio hardware and software. No matter what your level of expertise, Obedia can help you to stay focused and productive and get your music back on track. Start taming your technology today with Obedia.